John Muir Children's Park in Sacramento is where I developed and built a creative practice that I'd eventually call sacred. Before the book, I'd go to this court with my dog and shoot free throws alone. It became my meditation practice. After a session, I'd go home with a relaxed mind and I'd write. In 2019, I self-released my first book. Following its release, I'd continue to go to the park and think of ideas that I wanted to explore next. But the pandemic put all that on hold. Creativity thrives in this small block in downtown Sacramento. 1810 Gallery is nearby. The Washington Neighborhood Center is there. And the warehouse across the street from the court is the former loft recording studio and the tape op magazine headquarters. Now one of those spaces is a DI warehouse venue run by my friends called the Red Museum. The area is a psychic nexus of creative energy. In the winter of 2020, the Red Museum was forced to host its Christmas bullshit spectacular streaming only. I filmed weird videos on the court with my friends and my dog that acted as intermission sequences for the live performance. Even though I love this court in its raw state surrounded by graffiti and lawless expression, I'd rather it not exist in defiance of civic neglect and indifference of the park, but rather that the court at John Muir Park should reflect the energy of inspiration that enriches the neighborhood. To quote John Muir, the battle of conservation will go on endlessly. It is part of the universal battle between right and wrong. I feel this one applies too. Everybody needs beauty as well as bread.